What's up y'all, it's your girl M. Faulkner here and welcome back to my studio. So today I am going to be resuming the work on this painting. So if you've seen my last video, you've definitely seen the beginning of this piece. And if you haven't seen that video, what are you waiting for? Go and check it out. Okay, y'all, it has been four days since I stopped working on this painting, but you know, it was a long weekend, you know, it was Easter weekend that just passed. So I kind of was like on chill vibes, you know, I spent time with my family, you know, Easter dinners, I didn't really feel like painting. And then I had like other work to do, so it's all good. It's all good. I'm back and I'm ready to complete this masterpiece. So as y'all can see, all my art supplies are right where I left them, except my palette got a bit messed up. What I think happened was like it was on my table and we like moved it, but the floors are not like level for some reason. <laughs> so I think the black paint kind of um, ran down the palette, but it doesn't seem to have messed up the other colors. So I think I should be good and all the paint still looks wet. Um, so I don't think I have to remix any colors. Even if I do, that won't be a problem. It should be fine. So, so I think I'm just gonna like mix the colors up a bit just to make sure they're not drying out. And I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. I'm thinking about putting a new piece of parchment paper down. Yeah, I'll see. If it starts to become a problem, then I'll change it out. So I just refreshed my palette. I just added some water if paint was looking kind of dry, but this palette stayed pretty fresh for these past four days. So I think we're good to go, except before we start, I think I want to mix another purple. So I have like one main purple that I'm using. So look at the painting. I've got this purple here, right? And I like the fact that I'm using purple as like a complementary color here but I don't like the shade of purple like I think it's too much on the blue side and it's not warm enough so like the rest of her face obviously is using oranges and yellows so that's really warm but the purple just comes in kind of too cold for me if that makes sense like I want to warm it up and once I see it like already pretty much half done it, it just stands out too much to me like I feel like your eye is automatically drawn to the purple and it looks I don't want it to stand out that much so basically I'm gonna end up going over all of the purple with a warmer version of this purple so i might just add some like reds or oranges to the purple that i was already using to like just warm it up make it more of a pinkish purple you know what i mean and then continue to use that purple for the rest of the painting but yeah i don't like it looks too much of a bluish purple i want it to look more like a pinkish purple so actually i might mix it with pink <music> Okay, y'all, 
so this is like the new purple that I'm working with. I basically just added some pink and reds to the original purple that I have. So if we compare it, you can see it's a lot warmer, I think. So I'm gonna replace the bluish purple with the reddish purple and hope it looks better. I think it will look better. It might not seem like a huge difference on camera, but I think it'll make a difference when it's on the painting. Okay. So it's been a few days and I'm more than halfway there on this painting. I ended up having to do another coat of paint over the face. Like it was not like a full layer, but basically filling in spots where like the white canvas was showing through the paint. So you guys would have seen that if you were wondering what I was doing going over the face again. Yeah, basically I wanted to make the colors more opaque and I did that with the neck and shoulder area as well. I had to go over that twice. So I think that's why it ended up taking a little bit longer, but it's all good. I don't mind it. I'm just excited to get this done. So right now I'm going to work on the sunflowers and I have a feeling I'm gonna end up going over that a lot because I'll be using yellow paint and yellow paint is not that opaque at all really. Um, to really get the yellow that I'm looking for, I'm going for like a golden orangish, orange yellow, a deeper yellow if you know what I mean. So I feel like it's gonna be hard getting it as thick as I want it to be, but we'll see. But first thing I have to do is mix the colors. So I'm gonna mix a new yellow right now. I don't wanna use the same yellow that I've been using. Right now I have two different yellows. I have the background yellow, which is a bit lighter than the yellow on the face, 
but then the yellow that I'm gonna use for the sunflowers are gonna be more of a deeper color. Kind of like this color here with my New Beginnings painting, like that like goldenish yellow. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go for with this color, I feel. So yeah, let's mix some paints. Hey, also, I was just over here on my shelf, and this box has like random extra paints that I sometimes use. And I just noticed I have this yellow in here, and I can't even remember the last time I used this, but it is a heavy body acrylic, and that means it might be thicker than the other yellows I've been using. And on the back here, it says it's opaque. So I might not have to end up doing as many layers as I thought overall. So I'm gonna use this and see how it works. for the sunflowers and this is gonna be for the shadows and like details of the flowers and like the these darker browns are for the inside part of the sunflowers and this is the base yellow that I used here so yeah it's like more of a goldenish yellowish color but yeah so the new colors are ready let's start painting
my sunflowers painting is finally finished y'all I really love how it turned out and the sunflowers are definitely my favorite part so thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know what you enjoyed about this painting and I can't wait to see y'all in the next video where I'm gonna turn this painting into a print so definitely subscribe if you're new and I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.